Hi, in this video you will learn how to create a horizontal grid environment. This is the scheme of IR markers for a floor or ceiling tracking area. In the anti-latency service, click the button in the environment tab to add a new scheme. Then choose the horizontal grid type. In the next menu, select the required preset. Yellow for a floor tracking area, ceiling for a ceiling tracking area. Next, set the width and length of the area in cells. A standard cell measures 60 by 60 centimeters. In the case of creating a ceiling area, after setting the dimension, select the ceiling checkbox and set the height at which the markers will be installed. Next, press Edit and go into Edit Mode. Now a little theory. The reference bar is a combination of three markers at a certain distance from each other that has a certain direction. It's indicated by arrows on the scheme. The process of creating a horizontal grid environment involves placing the bars on the scheme. A unique combination of two or more bars which are not repeated on the scheme and are also not duplicated is called a feature. Features allow the tracker to determine its location within the area. The more markers are in the tracker's field of view, the higher the tracking accuracy is. To place the bars manually, click Edit Bars. Next, we place them on the scheme by holding the mouse button on a cell and then drag it to an adjacent one. The direction of the bar corresponds to the direction in which we drag the mouse when creating it. To remove bars, double-click on them. At the very beginning, you may mark the boundaries of the area using bars. It maximizes the available tracking area. To do this, manually place the bars in the corners of the scheme. Vertical bars are to be directed upwards, horizontal bars to the right. Thus, we create four different features. After that, click the Select button. Select the bars and fix them with the ability to rotate by pressing this button. They shouldn't change their location during the subsequent automatic placement of bars. Then, place the bars at the borders of the area. and fix them with this button. This is necessary to allow the software to move the bars only along the borders of the area while performing auto-placement. For the automatic placement of bars, go to the Optimized Tracking Quality menu and set their number based on the standard setting, 4 bars per 10 square meters. Then click the Generate button. During this stage, the bars are evenly distributed according to the scheme, and the tracking quality parameter achieves a certain value. Now you need to optimally place the features on the scheme for higher tracking accuracy. Features may be created in two ways. Manually, but this is especially difficult if the area is large, and automatically. To do this, go to the Optimize Features Density tab. Set the tracking quality parameter to at least 99%, and click the Generate button. The computer will immediately start creating unique patterns, and the process itself will be followed by changes in these indicators. The top 20 environment schemes are displayed at the bottom, and their quality relative to each other is shown at the top. As soon as the indicators stop changing, you should wait a further two minutes to stop generating, and then apply the changes. To assess the tracking quality for each cell in the scheme, we can use the tools above. This button activates the display of information about the accuracy with which the tracker will determine its location. Depending on its direction, a large section is more accurate than a small or an empty section. And this button allows you to understand the probability that the tracker will recognize the features depending on its direction for each cell. This indicator is to show how quickly the tracker will be able to determine its location if the markers disappear from its visibility. To see the features themselves, press the Features button. Each of them is marked with a red circle. This allows you to check the area for the uniformity of features placement and in case of any gaps, to correct the area manually. To prevent our adjustments from spoiling the tracking quality, we activate the Features Quality Estimations mode. It allows you to see recommendations for the placement of bars within a square of 3x3 three three cells. The recommendations appear around the area where the deleted bar was. Each green arrow shows an improvement in the quality of features when building a bar from this cell. If the arrow is red, building a bar from it would decrease the tracking quality. To understand how the tracking quality and features quality changes, pay attention to these two panels. 
The actual values displayed depend on the specific parameters of each area. There are no specific values that they need to be reduced to. Evidently, the values may be negative. At this stage, the main thing for us is the direction they change after our actions. With an improvement to the parameters, we see an increase in the value of the cell. With a deterioration, we see a decrease. After these changes, save the scheme and proceed to create the routing. If you created a floor area, use this tutorial on the routing scheme. Now you know how to create a horizontal grid environment. Thanks for watching.